I'm back. What's up, everybody? I'm in a good mood. Fix and go to bed. Uh, kids got some cool dream imagination uh, project tomorrow that we got to go to, and then Sunday she's got a shoot to go to. But uh, right now, I've got a box opening. This box was sent, given to me by D.E. Piper. Uh, we were conversing back and forth on the last one of the last videos I did. I had a beer he was talking about he's never had. So me and him decided to do a little trade. This is Jim. If you're reading this letter, then the package made it to Texas in one piece. Well, yeah, it's because you delivered it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed some of the local brews from Delaware. I also threw in some tobaccos that may pair, pair well, with it, well with them. I swear I've not had anything besides water to drink tonight. Uh, let me know what you think. Talk soon. Your friend, Rick. On YouTube, D.E. Piper, and on IG, Mortis and Kenan. I'm going to plug both of those channels uh, in down in the cellar. And guess what? That's going up on my board of all my box nodes. So, now, yeah, you didn't see me cut this box open because my wife, my wife, she was expecting an Amazon Fire Stick. So she opens this box. This is what it is. I mean, come on. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. God bless her little heart. She means well. Anyways. Got lots of packaging. And I am going to step away for one second. Gotta have that. All right, so let's see what we got here. Man, I can smell some tobacco. This is a 16 mile Delaware oyster stout. Can y'all see that? Oh my God. That just sounds good. Oh, stinking phone. See, I have got to get me a mount. Okay, so here's the toe backies. We got some, oh man, I ripped the bag open. Some rat trays, Marlin Flake. Lighting here sucks. Okay. Boswell Magnum Blend. Both of them smell absolutely amazing. Ugh. So, that was beer number one. Let's see what beer number two is. Um. Ugh. Well, if you wrap them well, that's, if you're going to do it, you got to do it right. Evolution Craft Brewing Lucky 7 Porter. Um, 5.8. Oh, wow, there's more tobaccos. Uh, he, oh, C&D Burley Flake. Uh, this is... Pike Peace, Seattle Pipe Club, I guess. Pike Place. Can be a good one. Alright, now. Ugh. Oh man. You know me. Double D IPA. Cool labeling, awesome, awesome looking labeling. Uh, 
I can't wait. That's one reason I really like the craft beers is because you get labeling that you don't see every day. Oh look, more tobacco. Holy crap, dude. C and D Da Vinci. Um, this is Dominion Oak Barrel Stout. Set that behind the camera. This is another Oak Barrel Stout. And could be the last one. Man, where'd you get this bubble wrap? This stuff is top notch. Oh yeah, this knife is dull. Don't worry, I'll lean way back for that one. Another oyster stout. I've never had an oyster stout and I am can't wait to dig into those. Cannot wait. Alright, so I've got a six pack of beer and one, two, three, four, five tobaccos. Well, Rick, I appreciate it, brother. Like I said, I'm going to throw your his information down in the bucket. Go give him a sub on YouTube. Go give him a follow on Instagram. And uh, who knows? You can strike up, strike up a friendship like you have never seen here in the YouTube pipe community. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. One of the best places I love to hang out. Uh, I'm not big on going out to bars, clubs, anything like that. Never have been, never will be. But I do enjoy going to pipe shows. And I do enjoy getting to hang out with you guys in the virtual pipe world. And, you know, getting to drink a beer and hanging out. So, uh, anywho, you guys enjoy your evening. I'm going to go uh, stick these things in the refrigerator. And... I may be lighting up a pipe. And if I do, I may make another video. Also, I have quite a few videos coming up. So be on the lookout. You guys, enjoy your smokes. Keep them lit. We'll see y'all next time.